Hi, I'm Treasure. Thank you for joining me. Today, I'd like to talk to you a bit about choosing a venue for your recital or show. Now, to me, that is the starting point of any big performance because it has so much of an effect on uh, so many different aspects of your show. So I'd like to talk to you about what I think of as the top three things to consider when you're picking a venue for your, your performance. The very first thing, of course, would be cost. Now, if you're on a tight budget, I want to encourage you to use whatever space you have readily available to you. If you have a large studio space, see if you can think creatively and find a way to make it work and have your recital there. If you have a friend that says, hey, you know, I'll open up my restaurant for you and you know that space over there where the band usually is, well, you can perform in that space. If you can find a way, see if you can think outside of the box and make it work because that is going to be your, your easiest pathway. Now, if that's really not an option for you, then I would say the next best thing would be look into any venue that is supported by local tax dollars. For instance, if you have a community college or a high school that um, is, has a theater, uh, very often the city will make an agreement with that entity that they need to make that venue available at an affordable price for local artisans. So that would be your next place to look if you're on a budget. Now, the second most important consideration would be dates. Now, most people want to have their performances on a weekend, and there's only so many weekends in a year. So once you've decided on a venue, you'll need to approach them and find out what dates they have available. Once you have a list of dates, here's some things to think about. Is that date that you have chosen a date that all of your teachers are going to be available on? Uh, that can be very, very important if you have lots of beginner students or if you have children. Uh, the second thing would be, what about volunteers? Is that a day that they're going to be available? Like, let's say you have someone that always runs the lights and sound for you. Are those people going to be available on that particular date? Then you want to move outward a little bit uh, and look at local events. So, of course, obviously, if there's another show that's similar to yours, we want to try to pick a date that's not on the same weekend as the similar show. That can get to be really tricky because there's only so many weekends and so many venues in any city. But do the best that you can, you know, to try to avoid that type of competition. But what about other kinds of events? Um, maybe there's a street festival that everybody always attends and that's going to be competing with your show. Or is there a holiday where people are going to be out of town? Um, you know, that can happen even a few days before a holiday. People can decide to go ahead and, and leave town or, you know, maybe they'll have family obligations kind of around that date. Uh, so that's another thing to think about. Uh, what about um, other events like, say, you probably don't want to pick, for instance, Super Bowl weekend. That's a date that a lot of people are, are tied up and you want to avoid any kind of competition with other events that you can. So the last consideration would be size. Now, this is a, a really important one. Um, if the stage area that you are going to be using is pretty small and you were thinking, oh, hey, you know, I'd like to have a really big finale uh, or some kind of a big production number where all of the groups are on stage at once. Uh, you really need to think about if there's going to be enough room for everybody on the stage. And if there's not, yeah, you don't want to spend a lot of time prepping something and then end up having to cut it. So what about seating? Uh, if your venue is smaller and you don't have enough seating for everyone, then you might need to do two performances. Uh, that way you can um, have, a, you know, kind of accommodate all of your students so that they can invite all their friends and family and everybody gets a chance to see the performers. Now, what about a venue being too large? Is that a possibility? Yes, actually it is. You don't want a venue that is so large that the stage is gigantic and your dancers are just going to get swallowed up um, or that your seating is so large that you're probably going to 
you know look really empty you don't want your event to look poorly attended you know that's that's not too good so we want to try to pick a, a venue that also is not too large as well as not being too small so all those things are things to consider when you're picking out a venue for your show so i hope this video has been helpful to you thank you again for joining me and i hope to see you in the next video